There is good news for Guadeboro's Vivo and also bad news at the same time. I don't know if we call it completely bad news, but it's one of those things that happen in politics. Guadeboro's Vivo is the Labour Party's present, uh, governorship candidate for Lagos State. And what has just happened is that has his, his sister is now campaigning for Governor Samuel Lu of APC instead of campaigning for his own brother. So, I don't know which side you are on. If you are an obedient, then that's not good news. But if you are in the APC, it is good news. It shows that the family is divided. They are not um, two in the same line. But on the general scale, there is some news that I will call it. And I'm going to do it in a minute. But before then, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel. We really need you to subscribe. Why is it good news on a general level is that it shows democracy in action, freedom of choice without war, no fighting. If you like A, follow A. If I like B, I follow B. So in a family, there could also be political differences. So if the sister wants APC, fine. The brother is with Labour Party, good. It's, that freedom should be guaranteed in everybody. It's fundamental human rights. Okay, so Badebo Rose Vivo, it doesn't seem to be enjoying enough support from some members of her of his family. But I'm going to tell you something about this lady so that you know why probably she's doing what she's doing. It's still a rumor that uh, the younger sister by name Titilola Vivo Adeni is the executive secretary of the Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, in Lagos State and is under this current governor, Babajide Sangwulu, administration. So, she is holding an official position for, um, I mean, for Lagos State, under this present governor, Shangwulu, and under APC. And now, her brother is contesting to be, to replace Sangwulu, who gave her a job but under a different party. You see, there is what we call conflict of interest. Do you think that she should be bold enough and tell Samuelu, you gave me this job, but sorry, sir, I want to support my brother. Is there a possibility that they will kick her out and she will lose that job? Or you think Samuelu will be very magnanimous enough to say, it's just politics, keep working. Support your brother, no problems. You see, the conflict the lady is facing. Because in an attempt to uh, tackle this gender-based violence in Lagos State, uh, two years ago, uh, Viva Adeniyu was now appointed by Governor Sangulu to head that um, uh, division. They call it Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency. She had worked for a long time for the Domestic and Special Violence Response Team under the Lagos State Ministry of Justice. So she was described as the most qualified personnel to head this new team. So there's a video showing her, Viva Adeni, extolling Samuelu's qualities and listing his achievements in office. And um, I don't know when the video was made, but yeah, he gave her a job. He did something about this sexual violence and the rest of them. And she's supposed to give him kudos. In the video, she recounts how DSVA has supported victims of domestic violence and how it helped them to get justice. She claims that such laudable strides were taken under the administration of Samuel Lu. Her speech was then followed with a campaign advert for the All Progressive Congress APC, stating that the party is the right choice to be voted for in the governorship seat. 
However, there has been mixed reactions since that video was made public. Many are hailing her for pledging her allegiance to the state governor who gave her the privilege to head the SVA. While some are of the opinion that she shouldn't have turned her back against her brother. I tell you honestly, as we are Nigerians, we know so much about her allegiance to family, to friends, to siblings, and the rest of it. This is something you must have an opinion on. And I don't want you to walk away without saying something. Where do you stand? Should she back her brother? Or she should, should she back Baba Jide Samwulu? Please, please go to the comment section and tell us your own opinion on this matter. We thank you for watching this video. We ask you please to subscribe to our channel and we will see you in our next update. Have a good day.